poor little thing probably lost its mum in the storm. Eh? Pretty heartbreaking with all these storms right in the middle of pupping season. Eh? It's a pretty rough start to life. So what do you reckon we should call it if we do have to pick it up? I think that falafel would be yeah. a perfect name. And then we'll have sriracha, sprout, falafel. It's like the perfect lunch. Let's go rescue us a falafel. <laughs> It's got an injury on its nose there, doesn't it? It's got some blood on the muzzle. Hey, buddy. I would say that he's about four weeks um, because he's almost completely molted. But you can see at the rear where it's got the long, white, fluffy coat. That's the baby coat. Um, and that is starting to come off. It's really alert and responsive, which is good. It looks like someone spray painted it. Spray paint, so bizarre. Yeah. Who would spray paint? I have no idea, it's really weird. Is it sore, buddy? Is it sore? Hey, Sam. We're here on the beach. Um, I sent you the photo and the video. He does have some kind of deep puncture wounds around his muzzle. Um, and the strangest part is he's, he appears to have been spray painted. Yeah, I'd like to take him in and just get the wound checked out. OK, well, well, we'll go ahead and bring it in. I'll just get between it and the water. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Yeah. Cool. He's super chilled in there. <laughs> I think he knows we're here to help. <laughs> yeah. When they come in, they've got the most stacked against them. Yeah, let's get them out of the rain. For those first 24 to 48 hours, we do everything we can to stabilize them and to make sure that they've got the best chances to perk up. You have your new patient. No, that's perfect. She's a really pretty one. I've decided she's a she. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Temperature is 38, which is a little bit warm. Might be a little bit of a fever from um, infection. Oh my gosh, which one? It's okay. I'm just uh, flushing her wounds with some saline. And there's some pus coming out of these. There is pus coming out of it? Yeah. It's definitely infected. The next 24 hours is very telling for a young, young pup that's already got injuries that are already getting infected. She is going to be on a round of antibiotics. Take care of that infection before it can get any worse. Hopefully she knows she is in good hands. We had our rescue yesterday and we noticed that she had those markings on her back. She's got blue, red, and purple dots, which we had no idea what that came from. So I did a little research, and as it turns out, there is an island called Skomer Island in the UK, and they mark their pups with spray paint. So I got in touch with them and found out that they use those colors. And they do this for monitoring the survivability of the pups from Skomer Island, so it's this tiny little island. It's 90 miles from the location where we found her. So she's incredibly resilient. And she made it across the Irish Sea as a three-week-old pup. In scientific terms, that is a highly competitive specimen of that species. In my terms, she's a little badass. <laughs> hey, beauty. How are you doing? 
I'm just, I'm very proud and happy that I was the one that was lucky enough to get her off the beach. She was snoozing away. This is exactly where they should be. It's nice and protected, so even when storms do come in, this will be nice and calm. Yeah, there's so many birds feeding around here. It's probably really stock full of nice food for them. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Ready? That was marshmallow. Let's go. <laughs> is she all on your side? <laughs> I'm very proud of falafel. She made it all the way from Wales as a three-week-old pup, so she's obviously a really, really strong animal. But I don't think any of these guys would have survived if they hadn't come in. Now, we wouldn't release them if we didn't think that they had every chance to survive. There we go, Falafel. That way. Good job, Falafel. You can see this does, does not compare to the pools that we have. If you watch seals enter the wild, you actually see that just joy. Of course, we're gonna miss seeing them at the center, but this is what it's all for. Good girl. It's more happiness than sadness. Falafel's heading out now. <laughs> 